remember that inscription outside? They will make cemeteries, their cathedrals, and tombs. Your cities. Hey, your cheek's bleeding. Shortly before the funds ran out, two of my technicians caught this bug from a rhesus monkey. One of them was delirious for two days before he finally died. The other phased in and out until he finally went hopelessly mad. Those are the two ultimate effects of this thing. It's not just going to run its course and be forgotten. Now, how in the hell are you guys going to explain away a town that's either wiped out or reduced to mindlessness? <laughs> what is this, another piece of information they forgot to pass on to you guys? Oh, gentlemen, we're not dealing with a flu virus here. We're dealing with an often lethal, always debilitating, encephalitic mutation. And it leaves its victims either dead or incurably mad. You got that? It's okay, I understand. I mean, I, I knew that people died. Yeah. You know, I, I knew people died. My father. Your father? You understand? It's like uh, all, all these people dying, and uh, my father can't feel that. You can. I know you can. I... I have it, don't I? I have the disease. If those men know the truth, they'll be breaking the perimeter themselves. How can you tell? What? Don't you see? The whole thing's insane. How can you tell who's infected and who isn't? My name is Kathy. Well, we're not going to hurt you, isn't it? Hey, man, that's just way done. Do you want to play? Stay away, stay away, you guys. You said I could come out and play for a long time. I could play. No, we're going to have to consider. I saw. Stay away, Barry, man. Stay away. returning to life and attacking the living. I'm not so sure what to believe, Doctor. All we get is what you people tell us. And it's hard enough to believe it's without... It's fact, it's fact. It's hard I'm enough to believe without you coming in here and... You're not it. running a talk show here, Mr. Berman. You can forget pitching an audience the moral bullshit they want to hear. You're talking about abandoning every human during... And I, for one, don't blame them. Every dead body that is not exterminated becomes one of them. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. Why do these people keep them here? Because they still believe there's respect in dying. <laughs> these creatures are nothing but pure, motorized instinct. We must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotions. They must be destroyed on sight. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. What the hell are they? They're us, that's all. There's no more room in hell. What? Something my granddaddy used to tell us. You know Makumbo? Furu. Granddad was a priest in Trinidad. He used to tell us, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk here. What are you saying? I mean, you know, you scientists. Dummies! You're suggesting... Dummies! Listen! Dummies! Excuse me. Listen, quiet, quiet. Shh! One wonders whether it's worth saving. It's worth saving. For all I know, the brains are already dead, and it's the idiots that are still alive. Huh? And I figured out how to stay alive, too. 
And I'm trying to help you, dummies. In your calm, helping way, you do ear to the line. There are no divisions among, among living Please. societies. At least let him finish. It's really all over, isn't it? Quiet. Unemotional. Quiet. We've got to remain rational. Logical. Logical. Scientists always think in those kind of terms. It doesn't work that way. That's not how people really are. We've got to remain logical. We've got to. There's no choice. It has to be that. It's that or the end. Order into chaos. Way. How smart are you gonna be when the war beast chews your head off? Wanna live? You've got to stop being afraid. How are you gonna manage that, wise guy? How are you gonna avoid being eaten alive? What's going on? I'm leaving you, Jack. Ha, 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 ha. Here, play with this. Goodbye, Jack. Don't leave me in here, Kale. I don't like it. Kale, if you leave me in here, I will kill you. I mean it, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna blow you to bed. Oh, no. It's hell fire trap in there, man. You better listen to me because I'm dangerous. Then you're in the right business, Jack. going on except kids playing pranks, trick-or-treating, parking, getting high. I have the feeling that you're way off on this. You have the wrong feeling. Well, you're not doing very much to prove me wrong. What more do you need? Well, it's gonna take more than fancy talk to keep me up all night crawling around these bushes. I, I, I watched him for 15 years, sitting in a room, staring at a wall, not seeing the wall, looking past the wall, looking at this night, inhumanly patient. Waiting for some secret, silent alarm to trigger him off. Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. You can either ignore it, or you can help me to stop it. Seems to me you're just plain scared. Yes. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left. No reason. No uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of, of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. How? I killed him. You can't kill the boogeyman. 
What's the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was. You think that when you die, you go to heaven, you come to us. And just when we think we've destroyed him, we must remember we can never trust the things that we see. <laughs> because nothing is ever as it seems. Let me release you from this imperfect flesh that ties you to time and space. All that is unknown will be known to you once more. I kill firstborns while their mamas watch. I turn cities into salt. I even, when I feel like it, rip the souls from little girls. And from now till kingdom come, the only thing you can count on in your existence is never understanding why. <sighs> you give me a kiss. <laughs> He's taught. <laughs> of course, he's dead. The dosage was too large. You killed him. No, I did not. I gave him life. Oh, Jason, run! Oh, oh, are we going crazy? No, it's that crap from the tanks. That goddamn chemicals. It's all over everything. Stupid asshole. Watch your tongue, boy, if you like this job. Like this job? Think, think. You gotta call the cops! No, 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 you don't wanna call the cops. You know what the cops will do to this company? Who cares about the company? Well, think of my reputation! Of your reputation! Think! Think! What about the number on the side of the tank? The one that said to call in case of an emergency? No, that's the army! You don't want the goddamn army around this place! Yeah. Think! But what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna call the boss. Bert, Frank, we have a little problem. <laughs> Do you ever fantasize about being killed? Never. Do you ever wonder about all the different ways of dying, you know, violently, and wonder, like, what would be the most horrible way to die? I try not to think about dying too much. Mm. Well, for me, the worst way would be for a bunch of old men to get around me and start biting and eating me alive. I see. All right, what the hell's going on out here? Mister, that graveyard out there is full of people coming out of the ground. What do you mean, out of the ground? Yes, out of the ground. They're horrible and they scream and you've got to scream. do something. So they're out there, and there's one of them in that warehouse on the other side of the graveyard. Which, which warehouse? The medical supply house. Oh, shit! Shit! And they're... God damn! I, 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 think, I, I think things are getting out of hand. Mister, there's a hundred of those things out there. A hundred? I'm in disgust. Send more paramedics. You can hear me. Yes. Why do you eat people? Not people. Brains. Brains only. Yes. Why? The pain. What about the pain? The pain of being dead. <sighs> it hurts to be dead. 
I can feel myself rot. Eating brains. How does that make you feel? It makes the pain go away. This place, everybody that comes in gets swallowed up. Send me the cops. At the huge Texaco refinery near the Texas Louisiana border. Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! some uh, radio ad time <laughs> are you fucking crazy we are closed off the air till tomorrow you'll have to just come back no but but yeah but whoa so this is radio land huh the infinite turtle the the waves through the ether fuzz roll on forever Roar! <laughs> can't close that hi i know what you're thinking this is weird huh but i can handle it <laughs> You're my fave. <laughs> 
<laughs> Me and Bubba, my little brother, we listen to you every night. <laughs> Music is my life. <laughs> ow, 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 ow,